Hello everybody, in this tutorial, we're gonna see how to create this 3D text effect. The first thing I'm gonna do is create a background. Just click on the rectangle tool, and then click on the artboard and enter the size of your background. And then align it to the artboard and change the color. Click on object and then click on lock selection so the background won't move. Choose the type tool and type whatever you want. Scale it up if needed. Then go to object and click on expand and hit OK. Go and choose the free transform tool. If you can't find it here, just click on these three dots and scroll down you'll find it. Or simply just click on E on the keyboard. You should see this panel here. Click on the Perspective Distort tool and simply click on this corner and drag to create this effect. I'm gonna change the color from solid to gradient color from here. For this example, I'm gonna use these colors here on the screen, you're free to use any colors you want. I move this dot towards this light color. The exact location is 30%. And change the angle to minus 90, so the lighter color will go up and the darker color will go down. Left click and hold Alt plus Shift or Command plus Shift and drag the text down to duplicate it and keep it aligned. With the selection tool, I'm gonna click on the upper edge and drag it down. Select both of them and go to Object. Blend. And Make. Double click on the Blend tool or go to Object, Blend, Blend Options. Change Smooth Color to Specified Steps and choose any number you're comfortable with. In my case, two steps are good. You can click on the direct selection tool. And if you zoom in a little bit, you can see this vertical line here. Click on the lower end and drag it up to adjust the spacing between the texts. Then select the texts and go to object and click on expand and hit OK. Select the group. Right-click and go to Transform and choose Reflect. Change it from Vertical to Horizontal. And click on Copy. Select the copy and drag it down and hold Shift to keep it aligned. Select both of them and go to Object and click on Group and then align it to the artboard. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and thanks for watching.